snipers you have to see what's happening to the bitcoin price today as we are testing the forty thousand dollar resistance level where we have the 100 day moving average and the market structural resistance and notice how on the four hour chart bitcoin is having a cup of coffee which means this is not the final destination and there are two very clear schematics that could play out here where bitcoin can test thirty eight thousand us dollars and continue further up potentially even test 36,500 and continue further up but the $34,788 level is the floor that we've been talking about on the snipers channel we don't want to get below this level now the reason this is an extremely important bitcoin move right now having a cup of coffee at 40,000 US dollars is if this continues to break out that means that bitcoin is going to be testing the 20 week moving average at 44,800 US dollars and since we've been above this 20 week moving average from April 2020 we saw bitcoin go all the way from the 6 to 7,000 dollar level to 64,000 US dollars so when you're above the 20 week moving average you're in an extremely bullish trend when you're below it you are not in a bullish trend which of course we are below 44,800 right now so this is an extremely important day for Bitcoin. Tomorrow is Friday, traditional markets close, and then the weekend comes where the cryptocurrency market's the most manipulated due to futures markets. And check this out, snipers. We pull up the DXY, and just like we talked about yesterday, we're seeing the DXY inside of this range that is allowing the s p 500 now because it's showing calmness to see new all-time highs that's a positive thing heading into the weekend for bitcoin remember we didn't want the dxy to see continuation to the upside at 93.82 because when the dollar value strengthens assets tend to come down so now that we're showing calmness inside of this channel that's the exact place we want to be coming into this weekend and here's the most important part of today's video the revolving parts of the cryptocurrency market like the total cryptocurrency market cap chart others dominance and bitcoin dominance ethereum is the leading altcoin and what we're seeing right now is as bitcoin is having a cup of coffee ethereum is actually showing strength and remember the london hard fork is coming on august 4th if bitcoin does see the continuation of the upside are we going to be seeing out performance for Ethereum against Bitcoin? And is that going to translate into other altcoins seeing out performance? We're going to talk about that today on the Snipers channel. My name is Naeem Alobadi. Remember to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. We want to hit 100,000 snipers on this channel. And I didn't post a video earlier today because the price right now is having a cup of coffee. And... The schematics we talked about from our last video is still valid. And I want to first start on the weekly chart so that you guys realize the emphasis here. If we get above this $40,000 resistance, we're going to be testing this 20 week moving average. If Bitcoin gets above this 20 week moving average, that means we have a potential of seeing new all time highs for Bitcoin. That's why this is an extremely important move right now. We need to get above this 20 week moving average to see a continuation of this bull rally. Now, if we continue further down, we even see another lower low form inside this channel. That's totally fine. In the long term, we're bullish about Bitcoin. It's at $40,000 right now, guys. Come on. We saw immense gains over the last two years. But let's talk about what's happening today because that's what matters, right? On the daily chart, everything more from the smaller to the larger time frames. We have this very bullish daily candle here that looks like a continuation candle. That means it looks like the price wants to move further up. We have eight daily candles in a row that are green. This daily candle today could even potentially turn green. If it doesn't, that's fine because a garden variety market retest of the 100 day moving average and then seeing some further downside is totally on the table and normal for a asset to do so here's what i'm watching when it comes to the four hour chart you guys know 38,000 is the first level of major support 36,500 as well coming into friday and then heading into the weekend i just don't want to see bitcoin get down to 34,788 as long as we stay above that 
We can test 38,000. We can test 36,500. And either way, Bitcoin has the potential of seeing continuation of the upside. Yes, we have yet to see massive volume come in, but the path of least resistance when there's low volume is always sideways to a little bit higher because of how inflation affects assets every second. So it's not going to be sideways to lower if there's slow volume. So the potential of this breaking is still very high. When we see the volume come in, I believe that this 40,000 dollar level breaking will take us straight to 44,800 but i'm okay with 36,500 as a retest at this point i don't want to see the monthly open the weekly open and the 34,788 dollar level get tested again because that would negate this whole push to the upside and testing this level will most likely bring us to see further lows for this year when it comes to Bitcoin's price. And that's totally fine if that happens because we have that structural support here to continue inside of this consolidation. And then maybe we can finally discover some of these lower price levels. But I'm not going to get too far into the downside, of course, because eight daily candles that are green in a row. I'm loving what I'm seeing right now on the charts. Now, let's quickly talk about the state of the altcoin markets we pull up the Ethereum US dollar price. We're up today about 2% against Bitcoin. And that's a good thing. When Bitcoin is consolidating, we all know altcoins tend to outperform. There's kind of like this high here that Ethereum has struggled to break around this $2,400 level. This is all going to be dependent on what happens to Bitcoin. If Bitcoin starts to move further up, this breaking out of 2400 could potentially perform way better than Bitcoin coming into the London Hard Fork on August 4th, just from where the price action is right now with Ethereum at 2300 to the next destination is 47% upside. So that's what I'm going to monitor. We start to see weakness with Bitcoin. As long as Ethereum stays above 1980, we're very bullish. We stay above 1760. We're still fine. Below that is where we start coming into the range that tests the previous all time high at 1440. So the cool thing about this Ethereum chart is we're going to the side. Even if we come down or up, the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart is still in a bullish trend on the macro. And we're talking weeks. Notice how we have this breakout. And right now we formed these higher lows. And now we have these lower highs. This is all indicating a bullish flag in the macro for the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart. That's going to translate into other coins. The total market cap testing 1.6 trillion right now. If we get above this level, now we can see a major breakout because we're above the 200 day moving average of the total cryptocurrency market cap chart. So the others dominance and Bitcoin dominance charts are still having a cup of coffee. We'll discuss those through the weekend. But I do want to quickly talk about traditional markets. The DXY doing exactly what we want for Bitcoin to see continuation of the upside. That's allowing the S&P 500 to continue to see new all time highs into price discovery. I just want to see the same blueprint tomorrow. The markets close. The weekend comes. It's going to be a fun weekend for Bitcoin. You guys are watching the Snipers channel. I appreciate each and every one of you tuned into the channel. I want to give away principles by Ray Dalio, one of my favorite books on value investing to one of you watching. And then we'll wrap this video up. I can't wait for tomorrow's video. The Truth Seeker 47 says, great job as always, brother. No one explains it like you. I really appreciate that, man. Send me a message on Instagram. You want to book in with that. Thank you all for tuning into the Snipers channel today. Until next time, Snipers.